Hey guys, Mike Napa with the Pew Synthes Trauma here. The first thing would be to be at cases early. Typically, I like to get there about 30 to 45 minutes early uh, so that I can figure out what implants I have, what sets I have ready, um, and kind of get a grasp on where everything is. Um, this helps because one, before the case, if you're missing an implant, you can tell the surgeon before rather than during the case when he needs that. Uh, this allows the surgeon to kind of plan their case uh, accordingly to what you have, or maybe decide, hey, we're going to go in a different direction. We're going to use, um, you know, a different implant, uh, whatever is best for the patient. Uh, it also helps because you know that you have everything you need for that case. But if during the case they decide, hey, this isn't going to work, uh, we need to go a different direction. You ha you know where everything is. You know you have it available. Um, it's not in sterile processing. It's right where you want it to. So get there early, make sure that all your sets are where they're supposed to be. Make sure you know where everything is so you're prepared during and before the case. The next thing would be to study. Um, in the beginning of any medical sales job, you're gonna be studying a lot. Uh, it is like drinking out of a fire hose. It's, it's a lot of information at once and it's your job to grasp it, to understand it and to absorb it like a sponge. Um, so study. Uh, what I found helpful was not only the technique guides that I was given, um, I'm sure other companies have technique guides or um, brochures or something like that, uh, but that really helped a lot, studying through those, getting everything that I would need as far as implantation, but also then looking up YouTube videos, just Googling, you know, um, femur fractures or whatever you're working with that day. Uh, just look it up, watch the surgeries, know everything about that because it's your job to be the, a consultant. It's your job to know everything about that product. So when a surgeon, a resident, a scrub tech, a circulating nurse, any of them ask you a question, you know that. And it will take some time, but that's why you have to study every single night. Um, this, this medical sales job in the beginning is not just a nine to five job. You're gonna go there and you come home and you're done when you get home. In the beginning, you're studying a lot. You come home, you study. You're on a break in between cases, you're studying. Study. Um, the last thing, and this is, goes along with the learning, is taking advantage of surgeons who are willing to help. Um, I got fortunate, I was at a level, I'm at a level one trauma facility, and a lot of those surgeons are teachers. There's a lot of residents there, so it is a learning facility. So I'm able to get a lot of what the surgeon's either telling the resident, or in some cases they're telling me, they have no problem giving me hints or tips on how to do things, maybe a trick, anything. Um, and these are all great because then you can use those in future cases where maybe it's someone who doesn't know what they're doing. You can say, hey, this worked in this case. This doesn't work in this case. Um, really just, again, back to giving you that whole grasp on your products, your information, your instrumentation. Um, it's your job to know it all. And it's also your job to know the case that the surgeon is doing. So by asking them, hey, what are you doing in this case? What are you doing in that case can help you in future cases. Um, the other thing would also be if you have a surgeon that likes you, they want to see you successful. And because when you're successful, then that means they're successful. Um, it also gives them a reliance that you know what you're talking about. So, hey, if I have a brain fart, which every surgeon's a human, they can have those. Um, you, they know that you're there and you're watching them. You have their back and you're going to give them the right answer. So just to recap, uh, the first one is to be at cases they're early, about 30 to 45 minutes, so that you know where everything is, so that you're calm and you're ready to go into a case prepared for that. The second thing is to be is uh, to study, study, watch you watch videos. Um, if you're doing surgeries, um, you know, watch, look at brochures, look over technique guides, everything that you can, uh, so that you become an expert on that product. And the last thing is to uh, really take advantage of a surgeon who's willing to help you, willing to talk, one that is actually even just talking out loud of what they're doing and um, you know what they wanna do, not being afraid to ask those questions to the surgeons because it's only gonna benefit you in the future for when something that they're experiencing comes up uh, that might be a little trickier, might not be in the technique guide. Um, so thank you very much. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out at any time.